creation. I pay tight and be poor. Yes. I sow seed. Yes. I give. I gave my house, gave everything. Why am I still poor, man of God? Yes, you can pay tight and be poor because the Bible did not promise you prosperity by tithing. Read your Bible. The Bible says, if you bring your tithe into the storehouse, mm -hmm. I will open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, mm -hmm. singular, not plural. Mm -hmm. Tithing empowers you with things that money, your with your things that money cannot buy. So when you bring your tithe now, it empowers you with idea. Mm -hmm. If you don't use that idea, you will remain poor. It empowers you with opportunity. If you don't maximize that opportunity, you will remain poor. Do you know? Because the Bible said the blessings of the Lord, Make it make it rich. The blessing is not riches. So you can be blessed and poor. And the God that gives you power to get wealth, he does not give you wealth. He gives you the power. You now have to use the power to create the wealth. So, so if you don't use the power, you, now, you are now a powerful poor man. So that power is idea, is gift and talent, is opportunity, is faith, is work. Is, so, all the, so that's why when you pay your tithe, the power is released. But are you now using the power? So we have a lot of powerful poor people in church and we begin the, uh, prayer is the prayer is the key prayer is the prayer is the master key is a lie prayer is not a master key prayer is a key there are many other keys there are those that prayer cannot open forgiveness is the one that will open it there are those that prayer cannot open it's given that will open it so we need to have understanding of that balance in, and balance it up so that you know say hey, but i pay my tithe let me ask you a very funny question you know there is no nation that pray, pray like nigeria we are very very good christians here how come it's part of our prayers? They don't pray in China, they don't pray in Germany. What is wrong with us? There's a difference between the person of Jesus and the principles of Jesus. The person of Jesus, when Jesus was alive, he was a human being. But he was preaching, teaching, and giving parables and revealing the principles of the kingdom. You see, the person of Jesus will give you peace and guarantee your eternity in heaven. But it is the principles of Jesus, the principles of hard work, goal setting, time management, discipline, diligence, all those principles are what will produce abundance so many people that are not born again they have embraced the principles of jesus and they are prospering even though they have rejected the person of jesus so they are going to enjoy heaven on earth while they are going to hell but we the church we embrace the person of jesus and we now reject the principles thinking that the person is enough and when we begin to teach principles they say we are turning church to just talk 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 what you need is pa 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 as if power is just to fall down and be forming in the mouth so many of these nations you are talking about they embrace the principles and do you know the, the painful part most of the principles that turn these nations around are in the bible they took it from the bible the bible it's is the source. they took it from the bible scripture you know what the lord told me today unbelievers are thinking christians are praying unbelievers are thinking strategically you know once you know I, i've always told our people that every problem is a business every problem when somebody comes to you i have a problem what the person has done he has brought a business proposal to you